how to fight sexual thoughts especially why young people are facing this problem more before talking about how to fight the sexual thought we need to understand first why the enemy is attacking young people more compared to small let's start if you came to this channel for the first time please subscribe like and share please support this risen lord ministries because we are going to post many prophetic messages with the guidance of the holy spirit which can help you why young people are more into sexual battles let's check what bible is speaking about young people open psalm 127 4 to us like arrows in the hand of your warrior are the children of one's youth here god is saying clearly that young people are like arrows just take an example of soldier in his hand weapon is there so for god the weapon is young people so when god selected young people as weapon surely enemy is having eye and enemy will target young people more compared to others so let me tell what are the main reasons that always enemy is targeting to tempt the young people the first reason is young age is very crucial and we are having power and strength so in young age we are so energetic and with that we are having memorization power it's not easy to forget like how old people will forget and it's time for building up new stages like it's time for building career so if he can attack on your career through this small thing so he will be having a victory towards the people of god many young people ask like this is it possible to stop our sexual urges or to sin how can i be holy with these many temptations around me bible has answer for this open psalm 119 and 9th verse how can a young man keep his way pure by guarding it according to your word yes bible is saying clearly that the word of god can help you from every kind of battles or temptations that you are facing right now see sexual temptation is not a big temptation compared to other temptations but enemy is trying to highlight that sexual temptation is more compared to others as we know while we are coming to the teen age many kinds of hormonal changes will occur in the body so the enemy will take advantage of that and he will attack you and some people says like this enemy made me to do sin or enemy is making me to do the sin here the thing is enemy cannot push you to do the sin but who is allowing enemy here just look into james first chapter and 14th verse but each person is tempted when he is led and enticed by his own desires see enemy is not having authority to push you enemy authority is up to temptation but now who is allowing enemy here check here god is saying your own desire will keep you in the zone of temptation see enemy see. will attack you where you are weak best example just look into jesus while he was fasting for the 40 days enemy understood that he is hungry so he came and he started attacking him he started tempting him through hungriness but not in other way same like that if you are weak in the sexual area he will attack you see keep that in mind enemy won't attack you where you are uh, strong he will try to attack you where you are weak because compared to you enemy know your weak points when you are in that kind of situations what we have to do just look into jesus when enemy came jesus is confessing the word and when he started confessing the word enemy went away from him same when the temptations are coming when the sexual thoughts are always pushing you just you have to confess the word of god 
When you will confess, the enemy will run away from you. Next question. What to do when sexual thoughts come to you? Answer is simple. Just flee. Way to flee. Let me give you best example from the Bible. Just look into Joseph and David. Both went to same situations. Both went to temptations. When the temptations came to Joseph, he was fleeing away from that Potiphar wife. But when temptation came to David with Bathsheba, he is not moving anywhere. He is just watching Bathsheba because he gave his heart to that thing. Same. When temptations are coming, just flee away from that place. Now, you might ask this question, where to flee? Where we have to run? We have to run towards the God. Just kneel down, just bow down and ask the Lord for His help. Because at that moment, I know humans cannot fight. Mainly young people cannot fight. They will give up every time. At that moment, you have to ask the Lord for His help. Start praying at that time or just open the Bible and read because when you are opening the things of God or when you are asking the Lord to help or when you are confessing the word of God, enemy cannot stay in front of you. He is not having that much of power to fight with you when God is helping you. Next question, where the enemy will attack first, mind or flesh? Yes, he will attack mind first because mind is having more power compared to the body. I can say mind is an operating system to the whole body. Like how computer is having operating systems like Windows, Mac, Linux. So mind is taking a main role in operating the whole body. So that is the reason he will try to control the mind. After these many questions, now what is a long term deliverance for this all situations? Open Psalm 119, 10 and 11 to us. With my whole heart, I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Here the scripture is saying, we have to seek God with our whole heart. So from today, start seeking God wholeheartedly. Give no space to anything else. Because if you're trying to give small inch, or if you're trying to entertain enemy, you are losing the relationship with God. So from today, store up God's word inside your heart because that you might not sin against Him. So from today, when the sexual thoughts or temptations are coming, don't give up. Just use your weapon, word of God. As we know, the word of God is having power. When you're confessing the word of God, the enemy will run away from you. And one more question I heard recently, why God is allowing us into these bad temptations? So keep that in mind, anything not tested is not genuine. See, God can test you through these temptations. In the temptations, if you are having victory towards that, God can understand you are genuine, otherwise not. Same like that. Best example is, just look into gold. Without testing, how they can tell that is gold or not. Same like that. God need to test us because God is seeking for righteous people and God loves everyone. So now the final thing I want to say that just follow these all steps which we have discussed up to now. I'm sure God can give you great victory towards these sexual temptations and sexual battles. I hope this message made you to understand how to fight with the sexual temptations or sexual thoughts. All praise to God for this. Stay tuned for the next video. Amen.